Cause I can't kiss you through the phone, yeah But you can rub your pussy, make it moan, yeah And I can't wait till you're alone, yeah Tell them grabbing up your body, make you wanna bite me, yeah Bro, full of money with me, fuck, fuck She ain't fucking with me if you broke, broke It's crazy what the money make a woman do Spill the juice, we're back again Myself, Spiller My beautiful co-host and my brother Your boy, Jim Busy Tennessee I'm Lavonza out and today, as always, we've got a great special guest. We have Mr. David. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for welcoming on your show. Hey, and we've got always, as always, a beautiful panel Gorgeous. full of ladies. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we got DJ D. And as always, we come to spill juice. Let's start, man. Right, David, talk to us. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm, I'm great. You're great? I'm alive. You're alive. I can't complain. Who is David Funny? Um, the briefest overview. The best dressed person alive, but <laughs> that's just fun. Says who? Says who? Says you? Me. If you want to argue, argue with God. <laughs> <laughs> you sound very confident when you say best dressed. Yeah. What what makes you so confident? Because I am. In my head, at least. And that's as far as it needs to go. If I believe I'm the best dressed person, I am the best dressed Who, person. Who's inspired you to dress, though? You must. Is there any inspiration? My main one would be David Bummy. <laughs> David who? <laughs> David Bummy. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why does David Bunny inspire you to dress the way you dress? When I was younger, I used to look at David Bummy's page and I thought, I really want to dress like this guy. Okay. And I just saved up money to dress like David Bummy. Do you okay. have a stylist? Yeah, David Bummy. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So is it, do you more go for expensive taste? Like, do you normally spend a lot or do you mix it up? No, no, no. Usually it's getting the cheapest fit. That's how it started. The cheapest fit that no one could ever find. I know my ways of finding. No, 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 that's, that's a stretch. But just going on sites like, even like ASOS and stuff like that, give me a bag for that one. And just finding clothes, no one, I know no one's gonna find, and just making the cheapest fit look crazy. So do you feel like there's a difference from actually like, guys that go out, do like the LV, the whole, do you feel like they don't really have a dress sense? Do you feel like you? No, nah, not really, they just like, they're just like the mannequin they see. Okay. Anyone can put that together. Not any, everyone can put together a 50 pound fit and make it look a grand, two yeah. grand, three grand. So how much does your fit cost today? And what are you wearing as well? Um, I'm wearing a Michi. I think it's, this one, I think it's a couple hundred, but I was sent this one. I appreciate your Michi for that one as well. Should be paid for that shout out too, but. Oh. It's a it's a basic it's a basic fit though. I wouldn't call this one drip. It's a corner shop fit. Seeing the mandem kind of fit. Wouldn't call it drip yet. I'd have to add a couple accessories, certain pieces to make it a fully drippy does, fit. Does, sorry to cut you from, does like any comments about your dress sense affect you in any way? No, no one talks bad about how I dress. Cause I dress the best, so there's nothing to say wrong. But any girls think that he dresses the best, just arts and look. I wouldn't I like say the, the best. Oh. Yeah, I feel like yeah, it's quite, I, was I, like the, no, I like the tracksuit. I don't think he dresses the best, only like the way you talk about it is mad arrogant. Do you no, get what I'm I saying? Listen. I feel like if you lose the arrogance, then it will come across a bit better. I get the fit to you will never come across no, any better. No, but there's a difference then. between arrogance and confidence. No, there's a big difference. I think it's confidence. I don't think it's confidence. No? I think it's confidence. <laughs> yeah, I think it's confidence because if you know you look good, why shouldn't you say it? Yeah. Yeah. Be confident though, but don't be arrogant about it. I don't. So do you do you, so do you feel like he dresses good though? Yeah, he dresses good. What about the rest of the ladies? What do you guys think? I think he expresses himself through um, outfits, in yeah. my opinion. And it's good, that's not a bad thing. Like, Definitely. Personally, I feel like the way someone dresses shows a lot about who they are, mm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you agree, David? Yeah, because if I sat that down right now and said, I think I look horrible, <laughs> I hate myself, <laughs> everyone here would have said, no, you're the, 
You're amazing just the way you are. But that I've said I've just the best. You know what? I've got some things to say about that. Do you hear what I'm trying to come from? What do you think about Well, like, I just don't know. Like, do you feel like there's no one else wearing the same fit that you're yeah, wearing right now? Because yeah. I think there is. <laughs> not that I've seen of yet. I, I'm not. I, there's a good deal yeah. of my outfits that I don't see. I just feel, no, I feel Cause, like cause the a lot of There's key. certain outfits, my main outfits, which I think are my favorite. There's a lot of stuff that I would say is, this is a common fit, just like this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this ain't was, nothing yeah. out of the blue. I'll probably see someone out there in this. So what's the tracksuit? Like, where's it from? Amici. And the so hat? The hat, the hat DCN. Out, so how old are you, David? Just turned 22. And how long have you been doing the fashion, you think? I'd say since like 15, 16. Obviously, I love clothes at the time, 15, 16. Back in my day, you yeah, especially at that age, couldn't afford certain clothes, you know what I'm saying? So I just buy random pieces of clothes. But then when you realize back over those times, accessories and stuff were like two pound, three pound. You could make a crazy fit out of like 30 pound max. I'd slap them up. People would think I'm wearing a crazy whatever, whatever. So nowadays, if I can't find a piece, I'll make the piece. Did as that well. dress good? He had drip, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was Nigerian, of course he had drip. <laughs> when, when you say make the piece, what do you mean by make the piece? Um, I've got a friend, which is a designer. She's called Marez. And if I want a certain piece, but I can't buy it, I'll give her a call, I'm like, I want this and that and that, and we'll make the piece together. Like, we'll make what I've got in my head, the outfit together. So, like, for my Who Is David Bumi campaign, I made a whole teddy bear piece. You couldn't buy that, you know what I'm saying? So we had to make it, buy teddy bears, cut the bops, just random stuff like that. And obviously, it went what, what well. What inspires you to, like, create, like, a teddy bear outfit? Like, what, what comes into your mind? How do you think of these sort of things? I don't know how I think of it, but I just like clothes and I rarely wear the same thing twice. Mm, okay, yeah. Meaning I always need something new. Okay, okay, okay. And it reaches a point per season where you run out of things to buy if you want them or like them. And I'm very precise on what I like to wear. So sometimes I have to make a piece. My favorite color is pink. And I wanted a piece with teddy bears. Okay. Nothing like that existed. I had to make it. If you actually like something, like say you actually like something that you're wearing, would you wear it again? Um, to like the shop or something, yeah. I wouldn't throw it out. You would wear it again? Yeah, like, to go like... Because you just said that, you know, you, you don't really wear an outfit more than... Yeah, that. I wouldn't wear it publicly twice. I'd just use it to go to like the shop and then mm. if anyone see my grandma, i just give clothes out every, okay. every other day. Oh, that's good. I just send clothes to my supporters out all the time. So this fit now, yeah, we're not going to see it again? Yeah, I'll probably give it to someone. Fair enough. But it's just a tracksuit. Oh, go on. <laughs> like, it's okay probably. to I don't, wear you're that You're the again. first to ask, so probably. <laughs> so girls, do you lot take mad pride in your dress sense? You, you lot just... Of course. Of course. You lot, so you lot feel like you lot go different? Do you lot, anyone I'm else try to be different? I my stuff, though. 100%. No, no, no. I know, I know you will reveal your stuff, but I'm saying, do you try to be different? Like, he actually try. I feel like he tries to be different. Do you not just shock where you not see things? Do you, anyone here, here try to be different? You know what? I actually try to be different. I like to switch up a little bit because you can't just rock the same thing over and over again. Mm. You've got to switch up a little bit. You won't know if you don't try. Do you know what I mean? I think girls look all the same these days, to be fair. Girls do look the same. It's true, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. girls the shop at the point. same there's places. The majority of girls, not all the girls, but there's a look that's going around and the girl it's just the UK aesthetics to be honest I feel like it's just the same UK aesthetics mm. well, you, you got something to say no, no, no. I feel like women I'm trying to... To... I feel like women follow trends more than men so it's like if we see something that we like we're like yeah I like that I'm gonna wear that I'm gonna recreate it but I feel like with men it's more like oh I wanna I wanna look different I wanna like stand out Oh. Best like, dress. Men look the same. 
All of you. You look like you come from America. You, you both look like you've come like from the hood. Do you know what I mean? I like At the end, he, he does. Wait, 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 what do I look like? I come from. Let me say that again. Okay, wait. I said it wrong. Not like that. But I mean, like, <laughs> no, as like, much you know, as women, that, as much worry. as women look the same, yeah. so do men and guys. Like, but I would not. I would never wear what he's wearing now. Eh? That's what I'm saying. Like, because that's good? just not. I feel like he actually just is mad different. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. So I, I wouldn't like, say he looks like every. T- I don't think you see a typical guy wearing what he wears. Yeah, no, in I've your not world, seen. In what before. world are we talking about? I'm yeah. <laughs> everyone, like everyone's from different. Like, there's different categories for everyone. So where you might not see someone wearing that, somewhere maybe he goes everyone with people like him. Wearing. Everyone would be wearing yeah. that. Yeah. But it's a trendsetter thing. So it's like. So who is your- the trendsetter? So where are you from, David? What area? Um, depends when you ask me, though. I've, I've, only, I've only been back living in London for the past two months. Okay. Where were you before? So where was you like? Where LA. did you grow up? I grew up in East London. East London. Majority of my life as a kid. Why did you move to LA? Um, my missus was from there. Okay. And I just liked LA in general. And that was just an excuse to fully just go there for like two years. What's that like? What's America like? A lot better. It ain't cold. Why, like it is why now. Is it like, is the culture, is everything just different? If I'm bored on a Tuesday, I can go jet skiing. If I'm bored on a Wednesday, I don't know, I can go paragliding, just do holiday, random stuff. In London, there's just so. What you could do is just, and how I dress over there is still, it's, it's strange because I've talked to stylists over in LA and they say they go back to, to, for their fashion Europe. Because in LA, people can't really dress. They follow what like the rappers wear and the rappers will wear the same thing. So it goes back to here. So initially when I went over there, I went for fashion inspiration, but I went over there, I'm like, Nobody here dresses better than me. <laughs> that does sound cocky now. <laughs> but, but that's how you feel. But then I had a conversation with stars. Da, 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 da. I'm like, all right. So if you want to see, if you want to see someone dress better than you, go to like Italy or something. Them lot, that's all they spend their money on. Drip. So we're just talking about ladies and their fashion and the way they dress, their dress sense. What's your take on that? I feel like the difference between male and female fashion is that when it comes to women, the woman is the canvas. The the dress, the piece needs to adapt to her, how she looks, her height, whatever hair color she's got. She's the most important part. When it comes to guys, you can put the ugliest guy, give him a fit, he'll look lit, you know what I'm trying to say? So when it comes to guys, the fits need to be very specific. The fitting of the piece, the, you know what I'm saying, the color of the piece to the individual, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes to girls, it's a piece specific thing for the individual, where guys, the same guy can wear this, the same piece as long as you fit him right. Do you judge women on how they dress? I mean, yes and no. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to be dressed and whatever, but don't take the piss. What's taking the piss? Brown Air Forces. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) I see him looking down at everybody's dress. There's no stories. I just don't like. What shit shoes? If I've is there any guy that stands out here, that well, if I have think? no money but to buy brown air forces, then I wouldn't be. T- I, we wouldn't know each other. <laughs> That's <laughs> deep because you came from nothing, no. So what? Not really, so actually. My dad had mad peas. Oh. <laughs> shout out, pops, <laughs> man! Shout out, pops, <laughs> man! Yeah. But it's like it's like if I had the shit is clothes, I couldn't take my t- if my type wants to go here and I can't do it. I'm not hitting you. Out of respect, really and truly. So you're not going to help her level up her fashion sense? Mm. Nah, you, a work in I'm progress. not a counsellor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> has anyone asked you to dress them, like rappers? Has anyone ever come to you and asked I've had you? people ask me to shoot, yeah, styling okay. them, yeah, yeah. And I've done that. 
With a little fee, of course. <laughs> little fee? You said you're the best dressed. Like, like, a little fee, a little fee. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, but I'm not going out my way to help someone because I probably wouldn't be an issue if I saw something dead. Has any brands hit you up and asked you ever to do oh, all the time, board? but got contracts. And do you have and for the, do you have your own clothing brand? We'll never know. <laughs> but you, you you so you don't want to disclose if you have one or not. No. What can you just tell us why that is? If no one likes me today, then but they, they might still like the clothing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Also, do you feel like you rather just separate yourself from that brand or be behind it? Um, yeah, I don't know if you see my CEO, CEO cast video. Mm. No, I'm not seeing it. I own a whole bunch of brands. I don't tell people I own it because the back, me be, back deposit in cash weekly, monthly, whatever it may be on the contract. It's more important than me to say, oh, yo, I own 50 or 100 brands. It's worth way more to me than the flex of it. How many brands have you got shares in currently? A few. A few? A few. But are they just, in stores? Are they online? Are they? I think like two are now in stores. What stores can you find these brands in if you was looking? There's and there's as well. OK. A lot of them, you, as you know how it works, you're a businessman. You just get it and then eventually you negotiate and exit. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to want it back eventually. That doesn't come cheap. OK. I like the way you speak, very controlled, but do you always speak like that? Yes, my normal voice. Okay. I don't see. Like, what do you mean? It's just. Do you ever up the tempo? Yeah. <laughs> do I, you're saying, do I talk any faster? What yeah. about when you're angry? I don't really get angry. But I, I don't really get angry at all, to be fair. What's your star sign? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, I know it. It's a Libra, but I don't think. I thought think... so. I thought so. I, I, I bet you did. He acts like a Libra. He's too quiet. Yeah. 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 I bet you thought that. The voice that you put on on your videos. What happened to that? Which voice do I the put on? The voice that you don't act. I'll actually get a draw on your videos. <laughs> <laughs> you literally put get on. It. You literally put get on the this voice. like voice. All right. What, the American I'd, type. I'd love to. You know, like the voice. And like, I've never had an American accent in my life. You you know you put on this voice a lot louder than the one you're speaking about. with now. You know the voice. Yeah, I know what? what? A loud the voice. And I even remember seeing like character. comments and everyone's like, does he actually talk like that? But you don't actually talk like that. But I think it's his character. Like, Is it your character or your alter ego? Character. No, but you have to when you're in a public line like that. Like persona. <laughs> what the hell? I don't put on a voice. <laughs> no, I, I, I do. That's the thing. Like that's some people do. Like when they're in the limelight. I'm not sure which voice you're talking about, but if you've got right. if you've got the video example yeah. that you say. <laughs> Feel free to play it. Why do they think you speak differently? Do you even have a clue what they're speaking about? Because I'm not shouting in real life. No. Okay. <laughs> Look, she's playing my videos and I sound exactly the same. You guys know what I'm talking about. Guys, I'm not in the no, but she's thinking, Do you think you act a certain way because you've reached a certain level and you've got like your PR team saying you can't say this, you can't say that, you can't do this? Do you I've, feel like you I've have never to be said anything my PR hasn't allowed me to say. That's a point. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be on, it wouldn't be on camera if my if my that's PR said I couldn't say it. You so you wouldn't say it. That's what she's saying. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like you're not. So you're not being true to yourself. No, I am. That's just it. Just, sometimes it's a bit taking a piss. Mm. Where I watch it back and I think, thank you so much for telling me I can't say this. <laughs> Do you class yourself as an influencer or a designer? Class myself as David Bummy. Oh. <laughs> so you don't put yourself in any... I'm just David Bummy. What would you like in school? <laughs> uh, it's going to sound cocky, though. Oh, God. No, do you think? I was smarter than most people. Didn't do much schoolwork. You remind me of Kanye West. Got oh, more... Definitely. No, no, like just not, no, not, 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 not saying like he's mad, but I'm he's saying that like, he's aura. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but no, but where it was? I, I barely did any schoolwork. No, I was gonna. 
Yeah, I was going to say... No, if she's got saying if boys say at all. No, I was going to say there's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Confidence is quiet, arrogance is loud. I don't think no, you're... I really do like her. I don't know. No. <laughs> he's going to say he's quiet. She's been on my side the whole day. <laughs> no, but the thing is... No, no, I disagree. Because if you're confident, you're not... You're just doing you. Don't be fair. If she thinks I'm a prick, I'm a prick. No, 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 wait. I never said I never said I thought you was a prick. I said the way you say things and the way you come across is giving arrogance. No, but this is... It's a bit like it's only David Bummy and that's it. Like, do you know what I mean? Just humble yourself. That's what I'm saying. Just a little bit. No, but that's... All right, think of it like this. All right, girls. All right, all right, all right. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Let me reply, let me reply. Go on. Let me hit her point. Yeah. She says it's only David Bumi, but if you ask me what my name is and I say David Bumi, that's what I'm saying. Was that every question that involved David Bumi was about David Bumi? And your answer is just David Bumi. <laughs> yes, there's because... no other answer but that. But you no. can elaborate on your answer further than David Bumi, no? No, because if you ask me what our name is, David Bumi, what do you do? I do David Bumi. <laughs> <laughs> What, who do you, you, who, who, who no, do you, but think of it like this, right? I hear you what just, you're saying in you. terms of like who what you inspired say? you. I'm not saying he's David a prick. Obviously, yes, everyone you. inspires someone, but definitely. Also, he's not, not getting paid to mention who inspires him. So, if if promo yourself. If, he, if you asked me a question like, "Who's your favorite musician?" and I started saying David Bowie, <laughs> then I'm taking a piss. <laughs> then you can start thinking no, he's having a laugh. Before we go on to another subject. How would you round up David Bumi? Just David Bumi. I would say... <laughs> the way I would round up David Bumi is say, David Bumi, on top of the fact she's not listening. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>
He wouldn't like the way she answered it. That's not how, how do you know though? How do you know how no, he, what he likes? Are, that's what girls are like. Oh, don't, don't do that. Like don't, no, do no, that. No, don't do that. No, I'm asking. How no, do you know? No, that's what girls are like. I'll, I'll be so honest. Because women are mushy wired. Works. That's why. Oi! <laughs> um, women, we are mushy wired and men are logically wired. So <laughs> We're actually not. I'm yeah. sorry. Speak for yourself. I'm in a long distance relationship because you're in you're in UK. She's in America. How have you found that? I was living there though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not living there now. I, I got the, like, I had a whole crib over there. I was there for almost two years. Okay. So it wasn't a long distance, really and truly. Okay. And you guys were living together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is she, is she into, was she into fashion? Yeah, she's a, she was a model for various fashion brands, so. What brands? Uh, what's Rihanna's one? That's it, that's the one. So did that did that push you in any way? Like to did, like did you not ever inspire each other? Because obviously I know you, you're the greatest or whatever. But having a partner that was into the fashion world also, did you ever feel like that helped you or pushed you in any way? No, I percent because over there deals are very big. Did you get it? The bags are ridiculous, and obviously I can see that firsthand. What a man's getting paid. Did you get it? Just off wearing a certain garment and obviously I was reaching that same amount but for making them and for designing campaigns for certain brands you know what I'm saying yeah. creative direction and then after that I just took initiative because I saw firsthand what X Y and Z is and I started getting pissed. You see when you have a girlfriend who's big got a lot of followers I think the Marisa is like 933 it's a lot of followers yeah and you're online, how do other girls react? Because there's that stigma going around, like you've got a girlfriend, you're posting her, but more girls seem to want you than normal. Did you ever feel like that? What's other girls got to do with me at that given time? No, no, I understand that. No, I understand, but I'm saying, did you ever feel like that though? Like, more girls are hitting me up, now they know I've got a girlfriend who's got a lot of followers and I'm posting her, we're public. No, not really. If I've got a missus, then the other ones ain't got nothing to do with me. Loyal, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And girls, be Say honest. Say that louder. Are you loyal? loyal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see your relationship, though, with Corey. Was it, like, strategic? Did you guys know that you guys were going to, like, get together? Did it elevate you guys' careers, your platforms? No. Was there any strategy behind it at all? No, no, no. We just met. How did you meet? Saw, saw UK niggas post her. <laughs> oh, when she... I saw that. I didn't yeah, want to be I saw you, it. when she Fredo and Dave. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. How did that make you feel, though? Because... Knowing that she's been flowing out or has been all over Sabre, she was some, another rap, did that make you feel in any way? I don't care. This is a... Well, you, you don't care? I did not care. Mm. And then... Sure. In was... that, like, in the relationship? Not the yeah, but then... The the yeah. There's a certain conversation you have to have to find out the essential stuff, do you know what I'm saying? But that's the f I saw her then. That's the f I'm like, I didn't know who she was before, blah, blah, blah. A couple months later, comes off on my ex FYP again. She's in the UK. I think because I like them pictures, they're my favourite rapper, you know what I'm saying? Because I probably like that picture, you now the algorithm works. And I must have liked her picture one time. Came up on my FYP a couple months later. I've liked it, but I'm like, I'm like, yo, blah, blah, blah. Because it said London. I'm like, duh, duh, duh. The story, I'm not going to go into it, yeah, but, you met up from... but it was after a while, because th that's how I first saw it, I'm like, oh shit. Okay. Okay, so like women that are like huge influencers, none of that makes you feel any type of way, because some, like we had a... You need to have a conversation before. with I've them got, though. Hold on, I've got a question. I bet. Because we've had a guest on before that didn't want to date girls that were in the public eye, basically. He was super against it. So what, Why though? Well, he just didn't like the clout. Essentially. If you don't think you're that guy, then you can't date girls that other guys, a whole bunch of guys want. That's the only, that's the only one. If you don't think you're that guy. What, why you not did you view that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Insecure men can't. Yeah, yeah. In that case, that everyone wants. Like, yeah. if you're flying out your missus, and she, so wants, to, you, and she wants to take a picture in a bikini, more time, I'll be taking them. <laughs> 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 Okay, so in that sense, what are your ex? 
in a girl when you meet her like first hand while your ex like as in like you'll see it and be like mm, she's not for me X and a female shit drip. Ooh. Um. Wait, what did you say? Shit <laughs> drip. <laughs> but just earlier on, you were saying how it doesn't matter what a girl wears. I didn't say that. No, he didn't. See, you're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. I know you didn't say that. But you, no, you, no, no, you no. said a girl's drip doesn't really you matter. Did, no, she has to did, wear things did, that fit did, her. Did. So say if no, the only no, thing. No, 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 no. I was talking about fashion pieces. I was saying the woman's the canvas. Right, fair enough. I'm just gonna stop talking. The, girl, I'm not gonna come the girl's the most important part of, of a dress and stuff like that. <laughs> and uh, so, what are your ex then? If you uh, see listen, a girl, listen, rate, rate, shorty drip next to you. What's that saying? Yeah, rate her drip. Let's up. see her oh, drip. Stand oh, up, give on, us a tour. Come on. Wait, no, come here, come here, come here. Purple, give her the purple, purple with the green. Give a little twirl, give What's a little twirl. the colour contrast yeah, yeah, saying? Like, oh, wow. David, tell us what's going on. What's going on with the drip? Look at it properly. Wait, but don't cuss me on YouTube. No, we're not going to cuss you. No, I can't lie. You've been giving it to him. You can give it back. Don't be rude, because I'll cry. <laughs> That's a personal problem. Um, <laughs> what about the colour contrast? Well, the the like purple and the wait, green. Hold on, let, let David talk. speak. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Go on. I don't know if he can. Slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> no, I are you speechless, David? It's right, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to be nice. Wow. Oh, that's rude. No, no that's speak. not rude. Don't, don't be. But give your honest opinion. I'll, I'll give it... Out of ten. Out of ten, I'll give it a four. What would you change? Oh, David. What would you change? Oh, David, Wait, what would well, you change? Why is it a four? You haven't got the mic. Right. Come on. There's, why is it a four? There's not much that makes sense. It, no, but it oh. makes sense in my head. This is how I like oh, to dress. Oh, oh, guess what? This is Yasmina Ramirez. Oh. Like it's David Bowie. This is Yasmina Ramirez. <laughs> 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 And guess what? No, no. You've had a whole campaign against what I thought was right in my head. No, and then I've had a whole campaign against you. Okay, but so I'm not being as... Oh, no, 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 no. But this is me. No, but... That's my guy. She's but, about to She's about to do what? Whatever I but, need to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. Say it again. You said you've got your... You've got, you've you're got his lawyer. Your you're basically his lawyer. lawyer. Um, was you actually dating Paige Cakey or was that that for the net? No, I wasn't dating Paige. But you lot was making it out like you guys were dating. That was just my, that was just my mate. That looked close. For mm. PR. Not PR. <laughs> that was just my mate. But no, but you guys, you know you was taking photos that was making people think that you guys were dating. I thought you guys were dating, I, I, but then I, I was I'm, confused. So was everyone else. Like, everyone I mean, saw that and thought, oh, yeah, he's dating Paige Cakey. So what, what's the pitch? I mean, the I, get, I get along. I get along with beautiful women. They get along with me. And then just how with, so and then just like, like with my guys, we take drip pictures. If we take a matching picture, uh -huh. people thought maybe we were a couple, but just because we were boy and girl. So did I they ever, that. ever go past a friendship with you two? No, that's that's my. No, you guys look like. That, that that's yeah, my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy, bro. Would you date that's David Bunny? It. No. <laughs> Wait, why, not? Why, why not? Because no, I would because like my man to be low key Muslim Ooh. and like a whole different type of person. Not that you're a, like a bad type of. Do, so do you hear them, you all know. But yeah. So, David, I kind of want to know like, do you feel like you're actually a funny guy or do you feel like you just troll the internet a lot? There's a lot of what you do for PR. Or do you believe that you're funny and you're just having fun with it? I just, I just fall stay with women. Oh I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, f I'm not a comedian. You are quite I didn't say you were a comedian. You kind of are though, kind of. I mean, if you find me funny, then but that's your game, though. case has been proven. Okay, but how important <laughs> is like clout to you and like online followers, attention, all of that? Is that, is that a big part of what makes you you and your career? Um, I just post on social media, really and truly. I've got a lot of businesses. So uh, if social media was gone tomorrow, who would you be? Dave, woman. <laughs> oh. Are you? I'm good, thank you. You're not single? 
No, I'm What do not. you feel about cheaters? What do I feel about cheaters? Yeah, have you ever cheated on a guy? Have you, the guy ever cheated on you? Be honest. I mean, not that I'm aware of, no. Have you but on a guy? I'm. No, I never have cheated. I've only ever had one boyfriend. So. What's the matter? Don't laugh. Do you like she's capping? <laughs> huh? Do you yeah. like she's capping? <laughs> well, how well, would I know? You, you, you did that half. Yeah, how would you part. know? How would I know? Nah, I've only See, now that you said that, it just sounds so booky. Do I look like a cheater? Yeah. No. Nah, like no. <laughs> <laughs> you never yeah. cheated on anybody no, doing attention. I, no, I haven't fucking cheated. Okay? Have you never spoke to another guy when you speak to another no, guy? No, I would never do that. I don't think cheating is a mistake. I think people can make mistakes, but I don't put cheat. Look, I already said before, I don't mind a bit of cheating. I understand that my man is probably going to cheat once in his time. like, And I'm so okay with my man cheating as long as he does what he's meant to do. I don't know what you do yeah. when you go out of your boys on a one night thing. I don't really care. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't. If I found out he cheated, I wouldn't be like, you made a mistake, you're going to change. So what Can would I you ask all these girls something? If your man goes out huh? and cheats, you're not... You prefer to not find out? Yeah, I would prefer to not... What you, don't, what you don't know won't right. hurt you. I want to ask this the all girls question. Mm -hmm. And the man that can give their opinion on this, yeah? If your man goes out and cheats, which I'm sure, like, it's not right, but he doesn't wear protection, <laughs> is that way more disrespectful oh, yes. than your guy... Yes, let me yes. land, than your guy going out and cheating and wearing protection. Yes. Why, 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 why are you saying yes? Sir? Because that's so disrespectful. It, you're, you're coming in to, inside of me and you're telling me you love me and then you're going to go inside of someone else bare back. No, at least... Regardless if you do it with a condom or not, you're still cheating on me. And it's like, the way, like, I get what you're saying, but the way you're saying it is, like, because he's a man, he's got more of that dog kind of personality, so you just want to have sex with anything that walks, so to say. Do you get what I mean? But just because you're a, you're a man, it doesn't mean that it's okay for you to do that. Because if I was to do that now, as a woman, a you would yeah. never even take me back. You would never yeah. even listen to what I had to say. Everyone can so live, what's your opinion? Everyone lives within their own boundaries oh, yeah. and, the, yeah. and the things they will tolerate and they won't tolerate. I don't think you can ever cheat respectfully. It's, it's complete disrespect. But I do think, but I do think there are levels to cheating. So some things will hurt more than others. So that's why you're saying about using a condom versus not using a condom. Yeah. If you didn't use a condom, that's going to hurt more than you using a condom. Or like taking her on a date. Exactly, taking her on a date, that pursuing her, like actually going in with it like that, that's going to hurt more to me. So I feel Why like on, on, a, on a level God, where it's like, so it's like on the, when it, when it, when basic, what I'm trying to say is when it comes to like, cheating and he's using a condom, it's easier to forgive it than if he didn't basically. And if he pursued the girl, it's essentially what I'm saying. There's just basically levels to it, but no, it doesn't matter what level it is. It's still it, disrespectful. It. Just it. Is there any levels to girls cheating then? Because cool, if a girl is out here, Having sex with another guy while in a relationship, is there any levels? No, there's no levels. Oh, of course not. Get the you don't have a mic. You don't have a mic. No, but levels come in as well in terms of like chatting, flirting. No, when it, when it comes like, to a girl cheating, levels. there's no levels. I will not have sex with someone just for sex. I will have sex with them because I love them and I'm emotionally attached to them. Therefore, if I'm cheating on you, it's because I like the man and I want to have Wait, an emotional so relationship with him. So cheating just having sex then? Is that only cheating? No, that's not just that's not just cheating. But as a woman, I would never go to a man for sex. What the hell? I'll go and. But can a woman? Can a woman do other things that are oh, associated with cheating? That's if I, of but sex. it's it's all emotional. So if, even if I'm talking to someone on a daily that cheating? and Facetiming them at night, for for me that would be cheating because they're yeah. giving me like an emotional need. I agree. But they're giving so many. Yeah. You don't have a mic? Sorry. sorry. You don't have a mic? Can I say something? <laughs> so I kind of agree with her, but like, okay, so basically, uh, I feel like I agree because, like, with women, when we cheat, we take like a whole week, for example. So, like, we we'll get to know the cheat. guy. We will, no, like, for example, no, like, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, it's an example. That's experience, you know. No, so, what I'm trying to say is, if a guy was to go to a club right now, they will go fuck a girl, that's it. Never see them again. No, but. I'm watching, have you ever that's, done that No, I've never done that personally. But like, what I'm trying to say is, guys, yeah, they'll go to a club, they'll fuck a girl, whatever called is that. Girls, if they want to cheat on someone, they will like meet them, they will chat to them for like a couple of days, and then they will plan out a date to meet each other, and then they will do How like, do you know? what they want to do. The reason why I'm saying that is because like, as a girl myself, I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm speaking so, for myself. So, so you've done it? No, 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 oh. I've never, I've never, but I'm saying... I'm so how for, do you know? For myself, yeah. Personally, if I was gonna do something with a guy, I wouldn't do it like let's say right now. I wouldn't do it right now. So have you planned for me, out it would take cheating? Time for me to like like the guy, and I, I like his personality. I think okay, cool. This guy's like a nice guy, 
And then I'm saying that if it happens, it happens. So you see the scenario you've just laid out? Yeah. You just said did, what I said. Did, did, did you think? Did you think of it or have you done it? No, no, no. I've just it sounds a little seen, specific. No, I've heard other people's opinions about it. Right, yeah, I was in conversation with other people. She's talking for a friend. And like we've yeah. all come to the conclusion that women are like, when they cheat, it's like they cheat. Whereas when men cheat, they I don't cheat with emotion. No, I disagree. You don't I, think that's true? I think she's trying to say that. Like, these girls don't disagree. <laughs> I think she's trying to say. I just think it's so like. Yeah. How are we going to group women and girls, say that women all cheat? Girls have affairs and men them cheat. Have you seen this conversation? I feel that, like, wait, is there any female here then? Because you just said female. Right. Just yeah. had a one, that's had a one, you had a one night stand. Yeah. Have I had a one night stand? Look, no, because you said 100%. Yeah, else. a woman can have a one night stand. So, is there any female every here? Every time a woman has sex with a man, it's so emotional. Have you had a one night stand? All right, hold on, wait, hold on. Give it a, give it a mic quick. I had a one night stand and I dated him for two years, so. Yeah. All right, hold on. What, hold on. No, but it wasn't one night stand. So, you've had, you've had a one night stand? Yeah. So, you went out. Partied, giggled. We made love. Did he, did he give we you? We made love. Wait, hold on, hold on. Come here, hold on. Wait, wait, one sec, one sec. Tennessee gave us the rules. So hold on. Did you get? Did you, did you get? Did you get? Get his name? Yeah. Okay. Did he use a condom? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a one night stand and not use a condom. So hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, let me wait, wait. Hold on. Let me speak. There's no interruption now. This is my time. Hold on. So hold on. So, so That's you broke, crazy. she brought the second command, commandment Wait, I was in a relationship. I know, I know, but what I'm saying is, he might have been. You never knew that. No, okay, but from where I've spoken to you and you said and to me that you wasn't, because it's not like I don't check beforehand. But you just you met you him, so how was you, you going to believe him? What do you mean? So how was he going to believe me? <laughs> exactly, you... that's why you both use a condom but on I both accounts. I, mean, I, I feel like, yeah, there's two ways it can no, be. No, 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 I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm saying, like, okay, for example, you see society. No, not example. Oh. Stop. Give the stop. Where you can't have sex. You can't have sex, yeah, on the first night. Give the story. Because it makes you a hoe, right? But if I was to tell you that I had a one night stand with a guy and it went further and he's now become my man in society, just let me land, okay? It's It's become a thing where. Guys have made it a thing for girls, and it's like you can't have sex on the first night, so to say, because it makes you look like a hoe. Okay, cool, I get it. But if I'm telling you, I've had a one night stand, I've met him from nowhere, I don't even know where you come from, kind of thing, and now you've become my man, it, it depends. Well, so he wiped you off? It, it depends on the person, did it depends on the off? vibe, it depends on a lot of things. But did he wipe you off? Though? Yes, he was my man afterwards, but it's like. <laughs> It was a one night stand to start. Night stand? Hello, do you have a mic? Do you have a mic? Oh my god, don't do the DJ like that. Excuse me. Don't do the DJ like that. Don't do the DJ like that. No, What's your favorite song? I mean, what do you mean, man? Eh? Is that something you do? You, like, <laughs> I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> if. If we're a little item, there's there's not many places of you that that I ain't gonna get a taste of okay. with the missus. So yeah, yeah, that's as far as I wanna go. <laughs> so eat pussy as well. You take a while to answer. <laughs> I go be I go be logical. <laughs> if it's my missus, I'll get a taste of the whole yeah, uh, and you, the whole bunch. The whole oh, bunch. Gosh. That means the batty as well. Oh, me blood, blood. The whole bunch. And you've been, and, and you've been in America oh, for two years, and America is right. a, a whole other level. In America, of so so do you know. ask. You eat your girl's ass.
That's a, a question. Right, do you eat a dog's ass? <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll get a taste of it anywhere my missus wants me to. That's that's the best answer I Have give you. Have you ever had your ass eaten? No. Would you? I heard it sounds great, <laughs> but I, I I just I just I'm a bit shook. What are you scared of? That you um, like it. I don't know. It's not that I'm it's not that I'm shook. It's just like it's not something I'm look I'm going out my way for. But if your girlfriend said let me try it, let, let's try it, would you try it? I, I really don't know. Have any of you girls ever... I, I really don't know, you know. Like... Have you... Have you... Have you that laugh, she, sounds, she looks like she's done it. Me. No, I didn't. I have not. You've never licked someone's ass. That's it, no. <laughs> look, wait, hold on. Look, look how real... You... No, I haven't, but can I say something? Oh, she's that. always got to say something, bro. <laughs> if it's something you want to do, then cool. I'm but I'm just trying to say, me as a woman, I wouldn't even want my man to go near my batty hole because you're my man and I respect you. So why are you going next to where I shit? Do you get it? But that's down to you. Like you yeah, can't, no, it's like down to sexual, preference. Sexual, sexual desires. You it's can't down, put that down yeah, to respect. That, no, it's down, that down, to down to respect. preference, but I see like licking batty hole as a respect thing, in my, in my opinion. I don't see why? anyone in the opinion is wrong, but, I, but that's how I see it in my opinion. So what's your sexual desires then? Oh, um, it's just a question like off camera, maybe. Mm. You know? Well, we know you've had one night stand. We know you don't like batty licking. Like, what's your sexual <laughs> desire? Do you know what? Of <laughs> course. Okay, wait. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think it's a sexual desire thing. I think it's more of a like, if you've got good nostrils. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 What the fuck is that? Wait, what? What, you, wait, what do you mean, good nostrils? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't have sexual desires, but I like guys that have like mm, nostrils. What does that mm. do for you? <laughs> that makes you look like a man. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, wait. I'm so wait. I'm so confused, babe. You need to wait. Wait, 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 wait. Basically, I don't have. Like, wait, wait. <laughs> so what? what is it with guys' nostrils that I turns you on? I should listening at nostrils. I didn't hear anything no, no, no. I want to hear nostrils. Your nostrils, I feel like if they're flared or they get flared when you're angry, no. it just makes you look like more of a man. Like, this is a prank. Does he have good nostrils? Yes. It could be a bit more flared. I remember. Is this, is this a prank? I've never heard of him in my life. I've never heard of because <laughs> there's no way this is a real human being. But what I'm saying to you yeah, is this, yeah, so so that is your biggest sexual desire. You need niggas no, with big nostrils. I have sexual muscles. desires, but I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say my sexual desires on camera. But, you, but, but having big nostrils is no, something you look at as a man. Having big is something that I like to, like, I like. Yeah. Wait, so where the man is a missionary in you? You want to look up my nostrils? Yeah, I'm looking up my nostrils. Ew, ew, ew. Have you ever licked a guy's nostrils? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Have you got a nostril licker? <laughs> wait, so, wait, hold on. So you lick guys' nostrils out? No, 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 wait, wait. I don't lick guys' nostrils out. Hold on, hold on. I don't lick guys' nostrils out. Hold on, Dio, wait, hold on. I should have known. wants to speak now. If you're my man, if you're my man, it's not even like I'm digging out your nostrils. It's like, you know what? Never heard it, but cool. I got a question for David. Sorry, are we changing topic? Go for it. Okay, so David, I got a question for you. What do you look for in a female? Like, what's your type? That is in. I'm talking appearance-wise. Personality, you cool, but like appearance. Like, what would you say is your type? Good drip. Sense of employment. Fair enough. Can you yeah. have a sense of employment? Not, not, <laughs> not employment. Why though? If she matches my schedule. Why does she have to match your schedule? What about appearance? Because though? sometimes I, I want to go to Mexico for no, no reason. No, I meant like body wise, like you face wise. You don't have a mic. But Again. body wise, face wise, like, would you, you want a girl a that's more petite or more like on the curvier side or like short? I don't, tall? I don't have a tap. 
Like that. So it's whatever no you vibe mm. with. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad bitches are the only if she, ma if she makes me laugh. So how does a girl get your attention? What what turns you on? I know you see, when I when I message a female, I give it a simple hello. I don't drop no. Hello. <laughs> do, do, I give it some hello. No, no, no dodgy. Um, I, can't lie, I think females' feet turn me on. Oh. No, no dodgy oh, chat up lines. Quiet. I just say hello, bro. Well, not but I just no I dodgy chat up lines, no weird lines. I say hello. <laughs> and then that what? It. I just say hello. And, that's and then when she says hello back, then what do you say? Then we go on from there. Mm. Do you wait? So do you get girls easy? Would you say? Love, what do you, what do you mean by that? Like you, you just said hello, and then you get that. Is, do you get that attention straight away? Is that it, or do you ever get aired? Like, do you get? Of course, I get aired. Who do you think I am, Drake, bro? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I said in terms of dressing well. Mm. Do you I'm, ever get like? Because the way you're talking is like, right? I just say hello, and it's just no, no. That, that's my general. I say hello. But that's just your approach. I don't drop no stupid. Cringy chat plans. I don't drop no whatever. I say hello. Okay. If you air me, great. If you reply, even better. I don't drop no random lines because then I'm gonna end up on I shades, like bro. The basic saying something ridiculous. Mm. Mm. Just say hello. Fair enough. No one's ever DM me and just said hello, and I feel yeah, like I'm actually more likely to reply. I just, say I, just, hello. I just say hello. I just, <laughs> like, like, just like, bro, hello. If you don't reply, then I know you, Jenny, whatever. Take, guys should take tips from this. Just say hello. if I drop a stupid chatter plan, then you're really like, my man's wet, I don't know. What hello is a general in human conversation. Normal. And if no, you say no. hello, if they don't reply hello, then shit, they just really ain't interested. Are you just happy, yeah. David, like, where do you want to, like, go in terms of relationships? Do you want to go, do you want to get married, any of that? Is that in your world? Yeah, of course, what the hell. Really? Design your wedding, would you design your wedding suit? Of mm. course, it's got to be drippy. Pink. What about your wife? Your Pink. <laughs> what do you mean, what my wife? Everything's faithful, she don't go to worry about that. No, but I'm saying, you don't have a wife again. Do you know how Nigerian so wedding works? Women, the women just chill and they pull up. Oh, you're not, are you Nigerian, yeah? Yeah, I'm Yoruba. So would you do, would you do a, culture wedding also? Um, I'll do a Yoruba wedding. I'll do on their culture. Mm. Multiple. Mm. Which is obviously the casual two that you get unless you're from the same country. And then obviously the honeymoon and stuff will be based on whatever the fuck we want. But the two initial wedding celebrations, I'd have to have a Yoruba wedding and then whatever they are. Do you hold any like traditional values? Are you going to get down on one knee? Are you going to propose? Are you going to do all of that? What do you think I'm going to do? I don't know because you don't Traditional do values? Huh? Mm. I mean, I know I don't obviously on camera traditionally go on one knee and marry someone, but I'd obviously do it when it comes to the time. No, I expect you to do it on camera. <laughs> so would you do it to your girl in the future? Yeah, that's what, that's the, that's the standard. Oh, well, not, not according to most men in this generation. What men? Yeah. What men, yeah, you don't that, really don't want what men are you talking to? No, there are to? a lot of guys that are saying they won't do it like that no more. Mm. Mm. It's like a real thing. I, not you the guys I date, but... your girl proposes to you? That wouldn't happen. Oh. <laughs> Why would it? It might. Hold on. I don't want to go to prison, I think that's weird. A woman... Pro yeah, a that woman is weird. If a girl proposed to me, I think I'd just be like... Begging. I, obviously, I would say, a woman, yeah, if I loved no. her. A but woman... I would, say, I would say, yeah, if I loved her, but I actually say, like, just... I'll propose to you, like... Because <laughs> I wouldn't want to go on Instagram, no, I wouldn't want to go on Instagram and say, my girl proposed to me, that's weird, man. So you're going to say, let's redo it? Yeah, that's weird, man. <laughs> a woman proposing to a man is when she it's loves the guy it. so much, but she knows he's never going to marry her. Mm. It's, okay. it's when you're not that guy, but she's not that girl either. <laughs> and, it's, and it's very hard for a girl to not be that girl. Because guys always want a girl, bro. There's always guys that will marry a girl. There's, there's always someone for, for someone. Every there's day. always find there's always a guy that will snatch up yeah. a beautiful woman. There's not always a guy that will snatch up the beautiful... Do you get it? Mm. So, if a woman <laughs> goes down on her knee, you're not that guy. <laughs> just, you, you, you should absolutely just reevaluate yourself. <laughs>
can I just go back to yeah, the Brown Air Forces? Do you not remember the Brown Air Forces? Comment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you again, right? If um, so the girl you was with in LA or no it? Brown Air Forces? Okay, no, okay, but if she had Quiet. Brown Air Forces to begin with, would you still date her? No, and and tell her no. to stop wearing them. No and yes. So you wouldn't help anyone. <laughs> he wouldn't have got to know her. If she wouldn't had brown have got to know her. Muscle. But what does that I've what does that say of you as a person? Just because they have brown air forces? Hello, excuse me. Are you okay? No, go on. no way. I've never seen them. <laughs> if you like someone, would you not want to help their style no, and no. say hello, babe? It's okay. Come on, take no, the blue. No, because we the, dated the within our bud within our budget. Huh? <laughs> we dated within our lifestyle. So you wouldn't Actually, date anyone below your lifestyle? Probably wouldn't meet them if I if no, they weren't if with you, my if lifestyle. If you did meet them, you wouldn't you wouldn't date I'll, them because why? How would I, how would I meet because someone? Because of how people would look at you because of because of of the fact uh, that you're dating them. Don't try to twist the, the question or the you're answers. You're twisting the definition. No, you're talking I'm, about I'm brown air forces and then how people no, are no. gonna look at him. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. yeah no, no, I don't like the way you're questioning the questions. No, it doesn't. Okay, so if if the girl you dated in America had brown air forces and then you went to date her, you're saying you wouldn't date her because of the brown air forces? Yes, that's how relationship goes. <laughs> okay, based on air forces, that's how you're, uh, that's yeah, how you choose if, the girls? Yeah, because if I first, if I, if... Wait, can someone help me? No, because no, 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 you're that. acting like what you're saying is crazy. Wait, 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 wait. So, the way you met, we met in a casual setting. With the brown air forces? <laughs> no. She, and you said no. She didn't have brown air forces. No, I said she did. It's the same way if I came across you, I wouldn't pursue you and date you because yeah. I don't like the way you dress. Ooh. Okay. Why don't you like the way she dresses though? There you said we go. I, I wouldn't hit you a second time. Mm. Right. But, no, but the way she was dressed, I'm because she's, she's with... I think you need no like, one exists like. with brown air forces. No, but Wait, if, if a guy was to move to me in the club, I'm not gonna lie. I look down at their footwear. Oh. Of course. I, I don't know. If that's it's crazy that she's acting like. Yeah. You saying brown air forces? I'm gonna move to a guy. Sandals yeah. on. If I'm in the club, no, I'm not gonna I lie. I look down it. at the <laughs> footwear because if you're wearing no. some dusty, dumped out, I'm not gonna talk to you because yeah. it just means that's how you carry Where's yourself. The Where's, the Where's, the Where's the camera? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? That's your one. That's your one. Hey, listen. This is the first. This is the first. I've got, I've got a mic, but this is the first time I've ever seen a girl not being on the same side as a woman because she talks so much nonsense. Wait, oh, wait, 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 come on, come on, come on, you're right. Wait, no, okay, wait, okay, maybe I was brown air forces, you mean in terms of like brown coloured or like white and they're brown I forget about the brown air forces, eh? David, what have you got coming up? Uh, I'm on a, I've been unemployed. Yeah, you got coming up. I've been unemployed. I've been unemployed for about 10 years. Just, just looking for employment. That's about it, nothing special. <laughs> so you got anything special coming up that you would like to people to know? Any, no, like, not at all. You're doing? Probably some clothing brands, which you, which you won't know our own, but they'll be out there. Mm, we have a live show, February the 11th. I would love for you to come. I want to see your drip. I want to see how you are dressed. I want you to be the We're best We're giving out a prize there. for best dress. Oh. So yeah. please come, <laughs> David. We want to see you. Oh, there's going to be beautiful in there. There's going to be cheats galore. No, I'm calling them. All right, then. Yeah. No, you just got to get them. Rich sex. Cause I can't kiss you through the phone, yeah. But you can rub your pussy, make you moan, yeah. And I can't wait till you're alone, yeah. Tell them grabbing up your body, make you wanna bite me, yeah. Bro, full of money with me, fuck, fuck. Shit, fuck, I'm with you if you broke, broke. It's crazy what the money make a woman do.